Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, in the tablet world we sometimes have the same manufacturer do multiple things. In this case we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0 and a Galaxy Note 8.0. So these two are some of the best um, smaller tablets out there, but is one worth more the price difference? Whereas the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0 comes in at $199, the Galaxy Note 8.0 generally comes in at $399 to $369 to at lowest I've seen $349. So is it worth the price difference? We're going to wait and see. Let's find out. Now when it comes to the look and feel, you could tell that the Galaxy Tab 3 is a newer model compared to the Galaxy Note 8.0. The reason I say this is because they're just different form styles. Uh, the Note 8 was uh, earlier, came out earlier this year and has a very thick bezel. Now, while some might argue it's to be able to hold it without getting any fingerprints on the screen and being able to hold it any which way uh, without ever kind of miss touching the touchscreen with your, the side of your hand, it doesn't look all that nice. Um, and we've seen this even with the Gauss Tab 3 8.0 uh, that it's slimmed down the bezel lines. Um, however, you can argue that it is nice uh, to be able to hold the pen, uh, hold the tablet with the pen when you have it like this. And this always doesn't make the best um, kind of ability not to touch the sides. Whereas the Galaxy Tab 3 7.0, uh, you can see a much uh, thinner bezel design. However, they are from the same manufacturer. You have a home button, uh, mem uh, menu, and back on both devices. Both devices have a front camera and a sensor for smart stay, and both have speakers on the bottom and micro USB slots on the sides. Um, even the little hump on the rear camera is present on both, but uh, definitely I would say that the uh, 7.0 just seems more fashionable and uh, definitely easier to hold uh, one-handed as well. So uh, for style preferences, I think most people would prefer the thinner bezel versus the thicker bezel. Therefore, look and feel will go to the Gauss Tab 3 7.0. Now when it comes to web browsing, there are some differences of course, uh, one being the screen size of these two tablets are going to be different, whereas this one has a 7 inch on the Tab 3, you have an 8 inch on the Note 8. Uh, also this one has a 1024 by 600 resolution, whereas this one has a 1280 by 800 resolution. Um, basically you could they're, they're almost the same uh, quality really. I mean, you're splitting hairs uh, if you really think there's that much of a difference in terms of clarity just because because this is bigger, it has a, sli it has a slightly bigger resolution. So it's not really better per se, but uh, let's check both of them out and see the speed difference and fluidity difference. So we're gonna refresh this page and one, two, three, and go. And let's zoom in and see how these guys do. So. Oops. so both are still going. These are on the same Wi-Fi right now. I can see web browsing is and this one finished. And now the tab three finished. So we're, we're talking seconds apart. Um, as I was saying earlier, the screen resolution and the screen size difference just basically make them about on par with each other. So if we zoom in a little bit with both of them, you can kind of see the text pretty much the same. I can make out a little bit easier uh, on this one, but they're roughly gonna be about the same. Uh, now let's go through uh, pinch to zoom as well as double tap and so moving roughly the same this one seems to load a little bit quicker compared to this one 
on web browse on moving up and down and scrollability. Now when it comes to pinch to zoom, let's see how these performers do. So you can see it's just a little bit more fluid. With the note eight and now a double tap. For the most part the same. This one definitely took that one. Oops. And now again. So uh, the Note 8 seems to just be a bit uh, better when it comes to the uh, web browsing portion. Uh, not to mention with the pen, I think I took that off, but basically when you hover over, you can actually magnify it uh, on it. But other than that, you can also activate drop down menus. So for instance, if I want to activate this, or not that one, but you can basically uh, make this uh, as use as a mouse. So if a website has drop down menus that is meant to use the mouse, when you hover over it, it will activate it. So that is obviously a nice feature uh, for you to be able to use on a lot of websites that uh, don't always have a uh, mobile interface. So for that reason, we give the uh, web browsing to the Note 8. Now when it comes to music quality, I expected these two to pretty much be the same. You wouldn't really expect it to be a differentiator between these two. However, I did notice a really difference in the sound. Um, now I did pick a winner, but first I want to see what you guys think and see which one would you say is better in sound. So first one I believe I have coming out is um, the Tab 3. And um, then I will switch to the Note 8 and then back and forth. All right, let's one, two, three. Okay, so hopefully you guys could hear that uh, through the mic speaker, or through the mic and through these speakers facing the mic. Uh, but for the most part, it really was the Note 8, uh, just definitely stronger speakers. The clarity uh, team seems, depending on the song, um, that sometimes even the Tab 3 seemed a little bit clearer, but overall the Note 8.0 uh, just had the stronger speakers uh, built in, um, which, you know, obviously should factor into the price point. So uh, for music, I would recommend the Note 8. Now, when it comes to watching movies, there is definitely a difference with the two. Uh, for one, obviously, screen size. And when you see the Tab 3, it basically almost fits in the screen for the Note 8. Uh, keeping that in mind, the Note 8 also has a way to change your screen uh, in terms of color tones. So if you hold down the Home button and go into Settings, you can actually change screen mode. Now for this demonstration, I'm leaving it on standard, but you can get more vibrant colors and more true to life colors, uh, depending on which one you pick. Uh, this option is unfortunately not available on the tab three. So when we play back the videos, let's play back the same video and see how, which one looks better. So let's take a look at these screens a little bit closer. I wanted to leave it to where they had the text on there so we can see if any clarity difference and definitely the color contrast difference and skin tone difference. 
So um, hopefully it's translating well, but basically you definitely get more vibrant uh, tones even on the standard mode on the Note 8 in comparison to the Tab 3. Um, now you can see these are truer form, uh, but it still actually makes it look duller than like, like I feel uh, these people's skin tone are somewhere in between, which of course if you put this on movie mode, or even if you um, also have the option of doing these settings and uh, putting the color tone differently to cold, it makes it a bit uh, kind of in between those two. So you can play around a lot with the Note 8. Uh, again, these features aren't available on the tab. Um, now, let me double check to make sure that the cold one isn't. I know the other one isn't. But yeah, so these features aren't available on the tab. So when it comes to uh, video watching, you're overall, I think, going to be happier with the uh, Note 8, even with a little bit of bars uh, difference. It just seems like your overall video watching experience, besides the bigger screen, the quality difference will be better on the Note 8. Now, when it comes to gaming, there just really is no comparison. You have a much better graphics card on uh, the Note 8.0, not to mention you have 16 gigs of built-in storage, which allows for a fairly good amount of games uh, on the device. So you can play lots of either high-end games, entry-level games, you know, basic games, very easily. Whereas on the Tab 3, even for the gaming review, I had to bet about two games at a time uh, because the high-end games took far too much storage. Um, now, they played okay on here, but they definitely will play better on the Note. So if you are a gamer and like to play especially uh, higher end games um, or even just download a lot of apps, you're going to want the Note 8 instead of the Tab 3. Now when it comes to the cameras, these tablets will seem very similar um, in terms of features. So they'll have uh, similar features on the cameras themselves, um, however, in terms of uh, the outcome, they're going to be a bit different. So um, we can see in terms of features themselves, they pretty much have a similar on the rear camera. On the front facing camera though, this has no features, whereas this will still carry over. Uh, the most important uh, one would be the smile shot. Uh, other than that though, they're going to be very similar in terms of their interface. However, in terms of their quality, they're a bit different. Now on the front camera, we have uh, both having a 1.3 uh, megapixel uh, front camera. However, if we take a look, um, definitely a bit more clarity and definitely better color reproduction will go on the Note 8. Uh, but again, a bit more in clarity, you can see basically in the mustache area, you know, Definitely just a little bit uh, sharper and uh, clearer uh, right there. Um, now when we go to the color reproduction and the clarity on the rear camera, there's going to be a much bigger difference. The reason being is this is a 3 megapixel fixed focus camera and this is a 5 megapixel autofocus camera. And you can also use touch to focus, which means this one, you pretty much have to just shoot. Um, it's a fixed focus, it's not going to change um, on your command. Whereas this one, you can touch to focus, it's autofocus built in, so you will get a better overall clarity. Not only uh, does that help uh, clarity and color reproduction, but also just in terms of lighting, you get much better contrast um, on your images and the clarity is definitely noticeable as well. So uh, for overall, if you're going to be taking uh, photos with your tablet, you're going to want to go with the Note 8.0. Now when it comes to battery life, um, these tablets are very similar. Um, there's not going to really be too much of a difference. I typically tend to see about half an hour um, longer battery life in terms of using both at the same time on the Note 8. However, I would say that the Galaxy Tab 3 has a better standby time. Uh, when I don't use both, I tend to see about 10% uh, go down more 
on the note uh, compared to the tab three, which pretty much doesn't go down at all um, when you don't use it. Um, I turned Wi-Fi off and left it alone for two days and it was at 99%. Uh, so it, it really has a, a good standby time even if you're not really using the tablet. Whereas uh, the Note 8, when I do that, it'll go down to about uh, 90 to 85 percent if I don't use it for two days. Now obviously these are still both usable for the entire day when that happens, but um, the standby time would be better on here whereas the uh, overall usage of the battery would be better on here. Both tablets uh, will get you over five hours easily, uh, whereas the Tab 3 tends to get me uh, more between the uh, seven hour battery life and the Note 8 tends to get me about the seven to eight hour battery. Uh, so both very close, uh, but overall the Note 8 tips to have good uh, usage time when it comes to battery life and the Tab 3 seems to have a better uh, standby time when it comes to battery life. Now, when it comes to extras, you can pretty much guess who's gonna win. Considering these tablets both have, are, are from Samsung, so they both have a uh, micro USB slot for standard port, have a micro SD card slot for expandability, and have an IR blaster for remote control using the same app nonetheless, um, and things like Polaris Office on both of them for word processing. Um, it's really going to go to one thing that is a uh, firm extra, that is that the Note, of course, has the S Pen. Uh, so it is a nice extra to have not only a stylus, but something act as a mouse where you have uh, built-in gestures that allow you to control certain parts of the device and gives you a mouse-like ability, especially when web browsing. So for that uh, purpose, uh, the Note does take it, not to mention, of course, the split screen, which at least currently the Tab 3 does not have. Uh, so therefore, the Note 8 will give you the better in the extras category. Now when we get down right to the price of these two devices, this is obviously where the Tab 3 has a huge advantage. For $199, the Tab 3 boasts a 8 gigs of built-in storage at a 7 inch screen uh, with expandable memory through a micro SD card slot. The Note 8 goes all the way up to $379, which is currently, as you see, a sale price. The normal price on this tablet is $399. Um, I have seen it as low as $349 when it's been on sale as areas such as Costco. Now it is important to note with uh, this uh, device, you do also gain some extras such as a Google Play gift card worth $25, so that should be factored into it. As far as the $200 of preloaded content, I think that's a bit of a stretch. Um, the 50 gigs of Dropbox storage is obviously good. But um, you do get that from a lot of Samsung uh, devices nowadays. I actually forgot if I got that with this one, uh, with this tab. I don't believe I did with this one, but I do believe I got it with the eight-inch version of this tablet. Uh, so therefore, overall, I would say, although this uh, does give you um, obviously some benefits, such as 16 gigs built-in storage, quad processor versus dual processor, and a lot of things. The price point really has to go to the Tab 3 because those extras are almost, or if normal price, double the price of this one. Uh, therefore, for price point, I will give the Tab 3 just for giving a lot of things that you can still do with uh, a half the price. All right, guys, let's tally them up and see which tablet won and which is better for you. When it comes to look and feel, it will go to the Tab 3. You can definitely notice the Tab 3 is the newer version of the two. Just uh, has done a bit uh, more of the little things that make the tablet uh, feel better in the hand and look better to a consumer. Web browsing will go to the Note 8.0. Just a better web browsing experience, not to mention the S Pen definitely works as uh, some having some mouse features and it's a bit more fluid. Music, the Note 8.0 uh, seemed to have the better speakers and uh, image which gives it music and movies. Uh, just the overall better experience for both um, and more enjoyable for entertainment purposes. 
When it comes to the camera, if you really do need a great camera, it looks like the Note 8.0. It gives you the better front face camera in terms of lighting, as well as the rear face camera being not a fixed focus, but an autofocus 5 megapixel camera. Gaming is definitely going to go to the Note 8.0. It's just going to be better in terms of gaming. You have a better graphics processor and more built-in storage for those bigger high-end games. Battery life. I'm going to call this a tie. Uh, the Note 8.0 definitely took uh, it when it came to using it about half an hour, an hour longer uh, most of the time. However, when not using it, the standby time definitely went to the Tab 3. It just seemed to have a better standby time overall. Uh, when I don't use either of these, the Tab 3 I can trust to be pretty much at 100%, whereas a Note, I might have to charge a little bit before going on a trip. The extras will go to the Note 8.0. The Note 8.0 definitely has the S Pen that gives it a slight edge in the extras department, not to mention the split screen capability that at least at this point the Tab 3 does not have for the 7.0 versions. The price point will go to the Tab 3 7.0. Obviously it's going to give you a better uh, price talking about half of the price of the Note 8 when we're talking about normal pricing for both tablets and it still gives you a great device for the price. So when we tally them all up we can see that the Note 8.0 is definitely the clear-cut winner. It gives you overall better experience than almost everything you can use. That notwithstanding the Tab 3 is a pretty good 7-inch tablet uh, giving you a lot for half the price. But it seems like if you really are going to uh, be a power user and use, the Note, and use your tablet for more entertainment purposes, the Note 8 is definitely the one you want to go with and use more often. Alright guys, that was the side-by-side -side comparison between the Galaxy Tab 3 and Note 8.0. Please give a like and thumbs up down below if you found this helpful. And thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, The Android Guy.